installment of WSBC from home. Let's jump right into it and head over to Braden Wood with some general announcements. I'm Braden Wood and I have some general announcements. If you're taking any college or advanced level courses next year, please be sure to get the necessary information for any summer assignments you may have. If you're not sure who to contact or whether a class has summer work or not, contact the guidance office. Please be advised that due to school closure, all students will be keeping their Chromebooks over the summer. All accounts will be disabled as of June 26th. Devices remain your responsibility. Prior to storing your Chromebook, please be sure it's fully charged so it sustains its battery life. Thanks, Brayden. Now here's Casey Felicella with more announcements for the class of 2020. Hey, Walk Hill, Casey Felicella here with some announcements for the class of 2020. The Senior Goodbye video will be released this week. Be on the lookout for announcements about it as well as where to find the link to access it. The virtual graduation website is still open. Here you'll be able to receive messages from family, friends, and teachers, as well as post to one another's pages. The deadline is Monday, June 22nd. Thank you, Casey. Now we have Kayla Miller with an additional announcement for the seniors. Hey 2020, Kayla Miller here with a special request for our class. Please help us with a fun video project, and FYI, this project has nothing to do with actual graduation, just something WSBC put together. Please send us a video of you catching your guide cap placing it on your head, posing or dancing or whatever you'd like, and then retossing your cap. Here's an example. Please send your videos to seniorgoodbye at gmail.com by Thursday, June 25th. These videos are not related to the Senior Goodbye video project. It's a separate project, but yes, we are still using that email. Can't wait to see your videos. Thanks, Kayla. And last but not least, we have Allison Giroux and her final special guest back to SGWN. Take it away, Allie. Hello, Walk Hill, and welcome back to the final episode of Some Good Walk Hill News. I am Allison Giroux, and I am back to bring you the latest uplifting and feel-good stories from the Hudson Valley and beyond. Before we jump into this week's episode, Let's head over to our guest correspondent with the weather. What do you see out there, Miss Velosa? Hi, and now for the weather. Since this year has been so unexpected, I think it's really important going into the summer that we prepare for the unexpected. So, enjoy your summer and expect the unexpected. Wow, she looks really prepared. Looks like these times have taught us all to be ready for anything. Thank you, Miss Velosa. Now, let's head over to our first story. Libraries may seem like a dying concept with all the devices and technological advances our society has made, but that is not true. Many local libraries are using their resources to help people through these tough times. The Gardner Library is offering a pickup and delivery system for their members that includes books, movies, and other items that are traditionally available to take, as well as faxing, photocopying, printing, and scanning. The Elting Memorial Library in New Paltz has also been planning behind the scenes and hopes to open for a similar curbside system once the state gives them more guidance. So, if you've taken up reading or want to start reading more in your free time over this summer, it may be worth looking into memberships at any number of local libraries and taking the literary world by storm. Speaking of taking the world by storm, things are looking more promising number-wise for COVID-19 right here in Ulster County. This week marked a landmark for the area as 512 people were tested on Sunday, June 14th with all tests coming back negative. So what does that mean? Ulster County officially proved that it is possible to go 24 hours without any new COVID-19 cases. With that being said, Ulster County Executive Pat Ryan wants people to know that, quote, while this is encouraging news, it does not mean we can ignore the important safety precautions we all must follow to combat COVID-19. The good news is the direct result of our residents being careful. 
socially distancing, wearing masks, and washing their hands. It is absolutely critical that we all continue to do these things in order to av avoid a second wave, unquote. Take heed to his words and make sure to continue doing everything that you are to keep our community safe. But kudos to Ulster County for accomplishing this feat. And that is all the good news we have for this week, Wallkill. Thank you again to Mrs. Pelosa for being our guest weather correspondent for this week. I would also like to thank all of the other members of WSBC for making this entire From Home broadcast possible. But, most importantly, I would like to thank Mrs. Murphy. Without you, Murph, none of this would be possible, and WSBC and journalism as a whole just wouldn't be the same. You're the best, and thank you for everything that you are doing. Underclassmen, best of luck next school year, and seniors, though this won't be the last time I see all of you, best of luck in your future endeavors. Stay healthy, stay safe, and, most importantly, stay positive, Walkhill. Have an amazing summer. Back to you, Ariana. Thanks, Allie, and that's all the news we have for this year, Wallkill. Thank you for tuning in in our broadcast from home and for your support throughout the year. For the final time, I'm Ariana Bartolone. I'm Casey Falatella. I'm Allison Juro. I'm Kayla Miller. I'm Sarah Rucker. I'm Braden Wood. The class of 2020, signing off.